everyone welcome back I hope you are all having a wonderful day so today is going to be a holiday makeup tutorial something you can wear to a work party or heck you could just wear it the whole month of December to be honest you could wear it to a Christmas party any anything really and I want to do a couple at least two maybe three holiday looks before my 12 days of Christmas goes up because that's a different series so I wanted to get a couple of tutorials out or get ready with me I don't like calling them tutorials because I'm not a professional but I love this red lip this is one of, this is my favorite red lipstick in the whole world and so I wanted to do a look with red and I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I wanted to do something with like a gold on the lid and I added some green because I'm being super corny and festive but if you want to see how I got this look be sure and keep watching hey everyone okay let's get started of course I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm going to use Mac Painterly paint pot to prime and correct any discoloration on my eyelids and then we're gonna move on to um, that's Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean and forgive the children that continue to walk in as I'm filming this video that's why I'm doing a voiceover because my kids are always home I'm just using vanilla bean all over the lid and then I'm gonna take Makeup Geek creme brulee in the crease and I will list all of the brushes that I'm using in the description box and link them for you guys um, and then we are going to take y'all are gonna think I'm crazy but this is a Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow in the color Zodiac it's super sparkly super glittery but if you use a good blending brush and really buff it into the crease it makes a really pretty crease color I know they say to stay away from um, like glittery shades in your crease or shimmer shades but honestly if you just use a blending brush you can usually blend away the majority of the glitter particles and it looks really really good and I wanted some green in this makeup look so that's what we did um and then you know you kind of have to build this to be honest and you have to go back and blend over and over so I'm gonna dip back into creme brulee I believe and yes and blend that just so there's no harsh lines and it blends seamlessly you guys have heard this over and over dipping into cherry cola I love this shape this is by Makeup Geek also, and I'm just darkening up the outer edges. And the next thing I'm going to do is spritz my brush with the Josie Moran Nirvana Water. And I'm using the ColourPop Eyeshadow in Get Lucky. I mentioned this a couple of months back, or no, a couple of weeks back. And it's my favorite gold eyeshadow of life. It is a must have for the holiday season for sure get it girl get it five dollars and then i'm going back in with zodiac and i'm actually using it on the wet part of the brush as well and just putting that in my outer v to make it pop a little bit and then i am gonna go back to vanilla bean and highlight my brow bone again <music> Now let's move on to the face. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Primer. This is the hydrating one. I got this in my Play by Sephora box this month and I just wanted to try it out. This is the first time I used it, but I did like it. And then I'm going to use the Becker Corrector, which I use every single day that I wear makeup. And it just corrects the darkness under my eyes. I am going to go in with my foundation and I am using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I'm in the color 117 and it's so easy. It, it just makes it so easy just to, I mean, like just wipe it all over your face and then blend it in and it blends in like a dream. Dampened Beauty Blender to do that. I honestly don't know how people get ready 
without kids walking in the room. This is the new Tarte Contour Palette. It's the Tartist Contour Palette, and I'm taking that lightest shade in there and highlighting under my eyes, and then the more yellow tone to hide, to hide the rest of my face. No, to set the rest of my T-zone. Oh my gosh, can I talk? This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Maestro Liquid Summer. And I'm putting that on. This is the number 90. I love this. It's my favorite product ever. I know. It's really gorgeous. It's just the best liquid bronzer that I've ever used, liquid or cream. I love it, and you need it in your life. This is like a must-have. This is like a lifetime favorite, for real. And I just put that on with the Beauty Blender as well. And then I'm going to set it. Now, I'm actually going to bake. Um, I'm doing the Santa Claus bake. That's what I named this because I can't bake under my eyes. I have too many fine lines. It just doesn't work for me. So um, I just bake like where my contour is just to clean it up. And then I bake my chin too because I feel like that's where my makeup breaks up first is on my chin. And then I'm using Zodiac um, to line my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take it and kind of line my upper lash line too. mix the two contour and bronze shades in this palette and just warm up my face a bit and really set that liquid summer bronzer that we just used by Giorgio Armani. This is um, Elf Cosmetics Pink Tastic Highlighter today. I love this highlight. Just take a second. Yes. Yes, and then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Blush in Natural Beauty. This is one of my kind of winter favorites, so I'm just popping that on my cheeks. Good staple red lip liner this is the one for you for real I love it and my favorite all-time lipstick red lipstick ever is Too Faced Melted Strawberry it is the perfect red for me so here is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you have any specific requests for the next holiday get ready with me. I don't know really what color scheme I'm going with for the next one, but uh, let me know if you have any requests down below and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.